Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. Your daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. That sunrise was insane, <laughs> yes. but it was also like eight hours ago. <laughs> yeah. We have been resting all morning, got some good sleep. We changed our medicine to be checked every 12 hours instead of four. So Which gave like you the chance to actually get to fall asleep and stay asleep. So we've been kind of like soaking that up this morning because we know once this really gets going, she's not going to be able to sleep. Right. <laughs> We're on the fifth floor on this roof that's just like this little terrace that's suspended and it's outside. And look, you can see that's the Arnold Palmer Hospital and you can see downtown right there. And I think one of the parking garages, but isn't it as beautiful? I mean, look, we didn't go on the mother's walk. This is called the mother's walk. Sarah's rocking some awesome poses. Feels better like that, right? It's getting brutal, but you're, everyone's super proud of you and everyone's saying how good of a job you're doing. So I was getting through a, a bag of checks right now, but we did put in our last order. What we hope is our last solid food order. Um, we have our, our 2 p.m. checkup, so it's, it's, that'll be 12 hours since our last medicine distribution. Um, and if she's dilated at that point, at least three centimeters, we'll be moving, I think, to labor and delivery floor to really get this, uh, this show on the road. So we're gonna get food delivered. We got soup for sale. We got sandwich. I got a flatbread, we got breadsticks. I'm gonna share everything with her so she can enjoy everything she wants. <coughs> and it's gonna be so good. Today, I think today's the day. I think so too. And 10.30 uh, is a good birthday. Yeah. She even braided her hair. I mean, after I was, I got like the good sleep, I was like sweating from all the shoes <laughs> and the clothes and stuff. I'm like, I needed a refresh. It feels like Halloween's tomorrow with this weather, doesn't it? If these were orange and folly looking, and if they found there was just a rustle on the ground, I'm gonna go downstairs, get leaves, and bring them up here just so we can hear the rustle. But it is gorgeous up here. What a fitting thing to watch on the day that our son may be born. The Tom Hanks. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood movie. When we got back from our walk, hello, our food was here. There's the flatbread, fries, here's the sandwich, breadsticks, soups, and of course, in proper fashion, got me a, a black coffee. Looking good. All right, we have an update that's not super exciting kind of a bummer but mm -hmm. we're here and we're going home with our baby <laughs> but it's um, slow and steady slow and steady we were told and warned numerous times by different people that since it's the first child and we're being induced that this could actually be a three to four day process we've heard 24 hours pretty much in a minimum we've heard tops three to four um we had our two o'clock check which we were really hopeful that sarah would be dilated and I'm progressing in other ways, yes. but um, I'm also contracting a lot and in a decent amount of pain. So they're trying to figure out how to get my body a little bit more loosey goosey. Yeah, they want to manage the pain, but also allow the the dilation to happen. Mm -hmm. So she's only like one centimeter right now, mm -hmm. um, which we thought would be further along. Which, like Sarah said, she's progressing in other ways. Like she's having strong contractions. Yeah. But the dilating is not happening yet. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. But there's, I mean, there's other priorities too, as far as like how things go inside. Um, and so we're waiting to get our next bit of medication once they kind of figure out um, like managing the contractions. Yeah, the midwife and put an order in for some fluids and then yeah. maybe a, a light muscle relaxant just to kind of get all the muscles to relax mm -hmm. to kind of hopefully get the dilating starting in yeah. a more progressive fashion. But um, it still might be another 12 round, 12, 12 hour hours. medicine um, that we which got switched over to. Which puts us to Halloween. <laughs> which puts us to potentially a Halloween baby. Yeah. But if they take three to four days, then it could be a Christmas baby. So <laughs> it's like, it wasn't fun hearing the news at two o'clock. Because yeah. we did really hope. I was emotional. I was yes. frustrated. We just thought. Real. 
after getting those four hour checks and seeing a little bit of progression that if we stopped and changed medicine and waited a full 12 hours that we would see like a good jump of progression and to not have what we thought but hey it's our first time doing this we are infertility pros we are not labor and delivery pros yet and we're learning but smiling still right trying to Somebody feed Phil came out today, so we might need to bust open the laptop. And I think we're going to. We were just endorphins. Yeah, so we've been waiting to like hear the plan, and like I keep telling Sarah, as long as Sarah's comfortable, we could be in here for six days because we're not leaving the hospital without our baby now. Yeah. Eve is being taken care of. Our works are taken care of. All that matters is Sarah is safe and that she's comfortable. And little baby boy. Oh, baby boy is great. Yeah, he's he's, he's they fine. On, they keep on saying they're like. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing. Yeah. Just gotta so. evict him. Alright, look at that. Medicine, machinery, and answers. Yes. What's really great is that they listened to me about my pain and my contractions, and they figured that out before I went to my next bout of medicine. Um, and so I'm contracting too much before, like, I'm contracting too much for there to be any sort of efficiency. And so we're calming my body down with a muscle relaxer, giving me some fluids, and then hopefully I'll be able to get more medicine once yeah. once I calm. My uterus really calms down. <laughs> I have my shoes on and I went to go get this shot because we've had the blinds closed all day and I love that this room has such tall ceilings and all these, these window panes to the beautiful building and sky. And I full on stomped on Sarah's foot and then stayed there. Like I didn't realize I was on her toes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I wanted to show, since we like, now that we have a plan, now we can have like fun and relax. Mm -hmm. Now it's like, great. We just have to survive until 6 a.m. And like just enjoy our, our, our company and stay in good spirits. But I picked this up last night when I went to the cafeteria. I'll probably not go to the cafeteria again, maybe. Well, actually, we might order dinner. But the Sprite Winter Spiced Cranberry Limited Edition? I don't think it's going to be good because I only care about Sierra Mist Christmas Cranberry Edition, but they suspended that, or they discontinued that. So, but we're going to give this one a whirl. How is my hair? It's a little frizzy, but it's looking good. You're trying to give labor and birth. Um, I taste it already. I like it. To me, it has less of a Christmas flavor and more of a Club Cool flavor. Yeah. It tastes it like something from Club Cool, like which makes me sad. Yeah. <laughs> we found the office again. We're thinking about maybe taking a nap. What kind of vibe on that right now? Wake up, maybe find a Halloween, a scary Halloween movie. Maybe go to a food court. <laughs> mm, shift changes happening in is it seven or eight. So we should be getting another lesson at seven, if not a little sooner. So we got like two hours to just chill. Chill. We got the medicine. We got the medicine. We got the medicine. An hour earlier than I thought. Yeah. So that's good. But they said it's likely I'm going to start having lots of contractions again. Yes. So I gotta go to bed. Yes, we gotta go to sleep before it starts. <laughs> um, at least for two hours, because they want her to sit for two hours to let this medicine really get settled in there. And then the next check is 540, but we'll meet the new um, nursing staff in two hours. Yeah. And then just kind of hang out and lay low. So we're not the wait, eventful wait, day. Wait. Well, an eventful day, but not the, the same kind of eventful day that we thought we were going to have, but... Just enjoying the last mm -hmm. bit of just you and me time before that's gone for the next couple decades. <laughs> we got an update, an unexpected update. So during shift change, we were meeting our the nighttime nurse. Our evening nurse let us know that because they're short on beds here in um, antepartum or prepartum, so like before labor and delivery, um, they put an order in because we are like on the docket to... We're probably on the closer end of everybody else on this floor to being in need of a room at labor and delivery. They go. They went ahead and put in the order to get us moved down to the second floor for labor and delivery. So they told me that I have to make sure that we're ready to go when they say, "Hey, let's go." I have to make sure all of our bags and stuff are packed. So Sarah's still resting, and I'm just gonna. And I've been pretty good about keeping everything clean. I just gotta make sure that like the snacks are packed, 
that the pop out of the fridge is there and the chargers are all packed up and ready to rock and roll because we are going to be moving to our labor and delivery room sooner rather than later. High five, sleepy. How you feeling? Blankets all wrapped up and tied up in the spot. Electronics are all put away, chargers are put away. Those slippers are is what she's going to pop on when she gets moved. The only thing that's outside are our two different water cups there. Well, we'll have to ask, but we'll need to bring this, I think, downstairs. Unless they have their own. So that's the only thing I have to ask a question about. She's asleep. But we're all set whenever they're ready to move us away. There. Got rosy cheeks. <laughs> you sleepy? That's good. We need you body relaxing. Mm -hmm. Open up and relax. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that... Michael Scott is being too loud. Do you realize the next room you go into what it is? That's where James is going to be born. That's the room that James is going to be born. Ah! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> when are the Brookhearts ever that excited? <laughs> It's okay, yeah, wait, 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 I forgot, we're in the hospital trying to welcome our son. It has nothing to do with James. No, it has everything to do with ordering dinner. <laughs> we weren't sure, we were like waiting, it's 9 o'clock, or it's 8.40, and we were like waiting to order, because we are waiting to get our room moved mm -hmm. to labor and delivery floor, and then finally Sarah's like, I'm going to call the, the head nurse and be like, should we wait, because it closes at 10, or should we order food? And she's like, go ahead and order. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling on the ball. Feeling good? Yeah, I You're like a literally woman. a different person. You're a different woman than last night. Like, like early, I should say early this morning into this this first half of the day. Yeah, I yeah things were <laughs> <laughs> things were looking bleak. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, let's order. I'm gonna go cheeseburger. First time I'm ordering red meat. Sarah's heart literally jumped to a warning, a high, a high pulse warning. <laughs> I'm on hold. I'm gonna get a deli sandwich. Alrighty, so we have the Adams family on. It's on 31 nights of Halloween. Um, soaking in the last bit of Halloween because we thought, you know, we just didn't know where we were gonna be on Halloween. Um, but anyways, our dinner has arrived. Got a sandwich. All of their meats are nice and cooked. Got mac and cheese, soup, and cookies. I got a coffee. Tricks on us after I packed up everything. Mm -hmm. Good thing we ordered dinner because they're actually keeping us here tonight. They don't actually need the bed anymore. Yeah. And because I'm not super progressed, I'm not like a priority to get into labor and delivery. Right. right Sarah wasn't to the point to like meet the certain standards to be on labor and delivery, but they were just kind of going to put us there because eventually we're going to get there. Hopefully tomorrow morning we'll get there. Um, and because they needed more beds in pre, in, what do we call this? Uh, antepartum? Yeah. Antepartum floor, which is where we're at. Um, so our, our nurse, our overnight nurse just came by and said, you know what, we're sticking you here. Um, let us know if you need anything or anything like that. You can walk around, still still go on the ball. Next check's at 5.40 a.m. unless something changes. I'm not heartbroken over it. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I mean, we really didn't unpack a lot anyway, so we like this room, we're set up here, we like to walk around our floor. So we'll hang out here until the morning. This is what I got. I got fries, a cheeseburger, and I actually got English muffin and coffee. Um, surprised? I think it's because I got the English muffin, but like, usually like the past two times I've gotten an entire plate, which I'm fine with, I've always <laughs> been over full. Um, but I got those french fries, the burger, this coffee is delicious, and it comes to the perfect temperature for me, because I don't like ridiculously hot coffee, and that, like, I could chug that whole thing if I wanted to right now. I and your dad always here. told me. It's my turn to be on the ball. Um, Sarah's laying down again. Um, getting some more different kinds of pressures going on right now. Um, we saw one of the nurses, I think she was a nurse or nurse's aide? I don't know. We saw one of the women that was with us last night and she was super nice and awesome. So it was nice to see her again. Um, she, she commented that Sarah's been walking a lot and bouncing a lot and rolling a lot on the ball. And then she's like, you deserve to go to labor and delivery. Like you've been working hard every time I see you. You're walking, you're working to try to get this baby out and every time I talk to somebody about you they're talking about how you're walking and working and rolling so 
that was nice to hear. Um, we've been pretty good about like keeping ourselves entertained, either napping, keeping ourselves entertained because we're best friends. Um, and then like scrolling a little bit of the TV they have, we haven't gone into like streaming services, but a new episode of Long Way Up came up the Ewan, Ewan McGregor motorcycle sh series on Apple TV, season four of Somebody Feed Phil, and the beginning of Mandalorian. So since Sarah's resting, I'm gonna watch Long Way Up because that's like my show that Sarah like watches with me, but it's, she's not super dedicated to it. Um, so I'm gonna watch that since she's facing the other direction, laying here. You have to just set the bike down. The trip has become this sort of animal, and it's sort of slightly all, out of all of our controls. I love this series. The fog has closed in at one of It was now 11. All right, really good episode of Long Way Up. Sarah's still snoozing. They just came and took vitals, and they flipped her because the baby was getting pretty excited on her one side. Um, I told Sarah I'd go downstairs and steal some snacks from the cafeteria. It's 11.30 p.m. I should take the opportunity to get some sleep, too. But, um, but I'm going to watch this documentary again called Dad's on Apple TV. And then I'll sneak downstairs to grab a pop and some ch a chocolate bar that Sarah requested just to have on the, to be on the ready. And then I'll probably get to editing the vlog. Um, but I'm just very excited that compared to the last time we watched this this documentary is applicable to me because I'm a dad which is pretty cool I'm going to have my whole life for that so I'm going to sit back and relax recline this chair and enjoy so in the simplest terms what is a father? a hero? it's just the first thing I'm going to say because I look up to my dad if I do it right, I should be a hero to them. I'm pretty excited for this journey to start. Maybe tomorrow. Pretty excited. Alright, I'm heading to the cafeteria. Um, it's just before 1 in the morning. Or 20 to, 20, 20 to 1. Um, Sarah's still sleeping. I'm gonna pick up a few snacks for her. Maybe something to drink. I'm gonna get to editing. Um, this is looking good. Baby's heart rate was a little high, but it's looking like it's dropping. Elevator. All right. So I got her a Coke and some donuts um, for the morning. I didn't even get the chocolate bar. Okay. I'll get the chocolate bar later. I got a chocolate donut for her. But I want to get back to the room because I thought she was sleeping. I cannot believe I forgot the chocolate bar, but I'll get that later. Um, check this out. Coke with Sarah on it. And we'll put that in the fridge for Sarah to have whenever she needs it. Chocolate donut with sprinkles. Um, that's what she was wanting yesterday. Can't believe I forgot the Hershey bar. Um, but I didn't want to be away from the room because I left when she was sleeping and when I got back she was still sleeping so I'll just run down later in the morning probably because she's probably not going to want it right now and grab me like a Starbucks coffee from the actual place there's a coffee down in the lobby um, but it's just about 1 o'clock I need to get to editing I know this vlog is going to be simple so it's not going to take super long and what we're doing is like I edit the bulk of it and then Sarah helps clean it up in the morning um and we have a 540 check. The doctor's gonna come in at five to kind of get preliminary tests going. So we only got about four more hours of potential sleep. So I need to get going on this. And then get some sleep for myself. So I'm gonna sign off by myself because this little chicken bird's snoozing away over here making sure she's getting energized for the big day. Fingers crossed it's tomorrow, which means it'll be a Halloween baby actually. But if not, than what we would call in the Brookhart household a Christmas baby if he makes it to November 1st. It's good to be home.
we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.